public record. You're, you're just kind of talking for no purpose. <laughs> you need to speak for the public record, which will be during the public hearing only. Sarah Hale. You need to turn the microphone on. There's a button you push. Okay, and you've got three minutes. Like, on top, you have a green light, amber light, and red light. Okay, the three, you talk at green, amber's one minute, red is your done. Great. I don't think I'll need that long. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Good afternoon and thank you for the opportunity to speak today, today to Council. My name is Dr. Sarah Hale. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for the Milford School District and President of the Delaware Association for School Business Officials. I'm here today as an advocate for the implementation of a voluntary school assessment or impact fee program in Sussex County, a program that is in place in both Kent and Newcastle counties currently. Milford School District is unique in that it has territory in both Kent and Sussex counties. We've been fortunate to receive the revenue from the Kent County Impact Fee Program for our area in Kent. This revenue has been instrumental in supporting our major and minor capital projects and offsetting tax increases, allowing Milford to lower its overall tax rate for the past eight years and fully fund our Milford Middle School project with no tax increase, in part from these critical revenues. Our area in Sussex County is rapidly growing, much like our fellow school districts. We've tried for the past two years to seek capital funding for expansion and renovation of our overcrowded Milford High School with no success. Since 2018, Milford's enrollment has steadily increased between 2 and 3 percent each year. Next year, Milford School District will undergo a major district reconfiguration in our attempt to proactively mitigate the effects of the long-term growth ahead of us approved by this council. I urge each of you to take the time to fully understand the voluntary school assessment and impact fee programs and the positive impacts it can bring for our current taxpayers and residents. Having to increase taxes to our current residents to fund growth that is out of their control is not only unfair, but has proven to be an unsuccessful way of funding school projects, leaving school districts struggling to provide the necessary space for all students. As we move forward, I urge the council and the voters of this county to consider the county's infrastructure needs, including our schools, before continuing to support further influx of development without the critical revenues needed for sustainability. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Jason Hale. Good afternoon, members of the council. Um, my name is Dr. Jason Hale. I am the Director of Operations for the Cape Henlopen School District, as well as a proud resident of Milford. I've worked in school district finance for over 25 years, with over 20 of those years being in Newcastle County, and I can personally attest to the significant positive impact that developer fees, such as voluntary school assessments or impact fees, have had on managing growth and expansion. These measures have been successfully implemented in both Kent and Newcastle counties, ensuring that the costs associated with development are more equitably shared. Currently, burden of growth is placed solely on the hardworking taxpayers of Sussex County. In Newcastle and Kent counties, these fees help alleviate that burden, enabling school districts and other public services to accommodate the increasing demands that come with growth. However, Sussex County, despite experiencing the most significant growth in the state, remains the only county with such a mechanism not in place. Every day without a fee on developers as a strain on Sussex County taxpayers. I understand that some express concerns mistakenly calling these fees a tax, but I want to be clear, this is not a tax. It's a way to ensure that developers contribute fairly to the infrastructure and communities they benefit from. Developers profit from our communities and often use school districts like Cape Henlopen to market their homes. This is not just an over 55 area, as evidenced by the considerable growth in schools all around the county. As a licensed certified public accountant, I can confidently say that calling these fees a tax is simply incorrect. The truth is they would actually help lower the tax burden on our residents by distributing the cost of growth more fairly. Some argue that these fees would increase housing prices, but that only happens if developers choose to pass those fees on to the homeowners. If they do, it shows they are continuing to profit on the backs of our current and future taxpayers. Regardless, it's important to remember that these fees are about fostering balanced, responsible growth that benefits the entire community. Having worked in school finance for many years, I can confidently say that these 
assessments have had a significant positive impact on other counties, allowing for sustainable development without overwhelming taxpayers. I urge today the county to act now and consider the long-term well-being of Sussex County residents. Let's ensure that our community remains a great place to live by managing growth in a way that supports both taxpayers and responsible development. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Adele Jones? Here. Good afternoon. You guys are used to seeing me once a year um, and the same thing. I'm a native Sussex County and born and raised. Um, I'm from a Sussex County farm family. They live in Milford, but we're on the Sussex County side of Milford. Um, and I'm devastated with the loss of forest and farmland that is in Sussex County. I think everybody likes it here because of the forest and farmland, the greenery, and we're losing it. Um, as I said many times, um, the overdevelopment of Sussex County is ruining my quality of life. And when are you guys going to get some ordinances in law that help stem this growth? Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Christy Wimmer. Oh. Adele Jones. Thank you. Hello, my name is Christy Wimmer, and I am the president of the Cape Henlopen Education Association. I am here today to speak about the Voluntary School Assessment, also known as the VSA, and impact fees as well. A Voluntary School Assessment is a fee paid by residential developers to the Department of Education on behalf of an impacted school district when there is not sufficient capacity in the school district to serve additional students that would result from additional residential development. Upon receipt, the VSA funds are made available to the impacted school district to help pay for construction projects that increase school capacity. <clears throat> VSA funds can be used for school construction activities, which increase school capacity. The funds can also be used for minor capital projects. If the VSA had been implemented back in fiscal year 2020, the Cape Henlopen School District could have received up to approximately $62 million that could have been used to offset the cost of new construction buildings and additions to existing buildings to accommodate the growth in student population. Councilman Mark Schaefer has stated that the VSA mostly affects low- and middle-income families. He stated, People that are trying to get into a $200,000 house to buy into the American dream are going to be prohibited. This statement is inherently false because the VSA fee is only on new construction homes. And the last time I checked Zillow, there are no longer any $200,000 new construction homes being built in Sussex County, not even on the western side. Councilman Mark Schaefer also stated, I will tell you the way that this tax is structured in the Cape Penlopen School District with the new school that was recently built by my on the back of the napkin calculations is that this tax will be about $17,000 to $18,000 per house. Now, if you're a young person, whether you're a professional or a service worker, and you're trying to get into homeownership, I don't know where you're going to get that kind of money. This statement is also false because the VSA is not a tax. The VSA is a fee, which would only be paid by developers that does not have to be passed on to the home buyer. If you choose to buy a house that is already built, you would pay no VSA. Referendums to pay for new school, school construction are a tax, a tax that all residents pay, regardless of whether you buy a new construction house or own an already established house. Because of the lack of action by the county council and the VSA, school districts must rely on the passage of referendums to build new schools. Cape Home Open is in desperate need of expanding the high school to accommodate new growth in our area. However, Cape Henlopen has struggled to pass a referendum on two separate occasions. I invite all county council members to visit Cape Henlopen High School and see how students are sitting on classroom floors and windowsills because there are not enough desks or chairs to accommodate all the students. I invite you to see how large the class sizes are because there's no space to lower the class sizes. I invite you to spend some time in the hallways during class change to see how crowded it is and how log jammed it gets. Your time is up. Thank you. Rosemary Carroll. Rose, oh, here she comes. Good afternoon. Um, I, I wanted to talk about the rental tax. So is that off the? Okay. Yeah, we, we, Next. There'll Next be time. there will be a public hearing. You need to either come to the public hearing and, te and testify then, ma mail in your comments, 
Okay. Or you can call in that day of. So you got three ways. Thank you Thank so you. much. Tom Morse. Hi, I'm Tom Morris, uh, District 4, Dagsboro, Delaware. I also uh, was here for the public comment, so I yield back my time. Thank you. Heather Farmer? Hello, my name is Heather Farmer, and I am a special education teacher at Caven Lupin School District and also a parent of um, students for the um, Sussex Central. I'm here about the voluntary um, school assessment. These fees are supposed to be paid by developers to the Department of Education to help pay for school construction projects that are needed to increase school capacity due to our ever-expanding community. Kent and Newcastle counties do collect these fees. Sussex County is the only one that doesn't. You, Sussex County legislature has the ability and duty to collect these fees, but for some reason, it has been voted not to collect these fees. Because of this, Sussex County School Districts have lost out on approximately $100 million. You've heard several people speak about the VSA. I also want to speak um, as a special education teacher, and um, my brother has Down syndrome. He graduated from Howard T. Ennis. I worked for the Sussex Consortium. They both have um, funding from the state. However, with inclusion, and that is what we are trying to always do, the autism program, the um, Down Syndrome Association, we are always trying to get inclusivity. To do this, they need to come to the general education school. That is funded through the school, not through the state of the special schools. So when we have a class size of 25 students, and then we're trying to get three to five other students come to be inclusive in our classrooms, now we're at 30. We don't have chairs for them. We don't have desks for them. How is this inclusivity? It's not. We're not being inclusive to the special needs population by not having these fees and being able to expand our schools that we need to. Um, we're already over um, populated in the um, elementary schools. We're going to need to have another elementary school soon. It's not fair for the special ed population to be in these classrooms with so many students where they're not getting what they need because of overstimulation, overcrowdedness. So when we think about these impact fees, don't just think about, oh, those, you know, classroom teachers should be able to handle 30 some students. It's just not fair to the teachers, to any of the students, especially our special ed population. Thank you. Thank you. Aubrey, would you check online, please, for anybody for public comment? If there's anyone on the